रिप्लाई कटे जो समझ में आता
Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma can you speak one? Just want to know if the the voice is audible or not. Hello. 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 Yeah, Anil. So, yeah, I'm able to hear now. All of you, please mute your mics. Session, I'm starting now. Sir, I didn't get the video, sir. Uh, we checking with that because the finance department people will check it. Once they check it, you will be getting the. Also, I didn't get. I got the link, but uh, in the link there is only two second videos in there. See, that's what after three days they'll change the password. Finally, they'll see all the full payments, all those things. They'll be sending the new password. Okay. Just wait. They are checking. They will be sending it. Okay. Sir. In the WhatsApp group, you just said the detail. They will check and send you immediately the link. Yeah, now I got the video, sir. Okay, I'm starting the session and I request everybody, uh, please don't unmute your mics because it will disturb the session as well as the others. It's my request to everybody, don't unmute your mic. Keep it in the mute only. Today I'll add the new numbers after checking with the finance department. No people with WhatsApp. So whose uh, names are not there in the WhatsApp, I'll just check it and add it today. because. We got the like a message from the team that once we check, then only we should add. Okay. So I'm starting the session. And once again, I request anybody, everybody, that please keep your mics in mute only. Don't unmute. I already kept some. Uh, persons already I change it to the mute so please cooperate with us so that it's good for you as well as for everybody and for the session also okay so I request once again once the session is start nobody uh, should unmute your mic please whatever you want to say you just write it in the chat I'm seeing that I'll give the reply okay I'm starting the session now so good morning everybody can you able to hear my voice clearly my voice is audible Okay, continuing with the session now. So, do you remember what we discussed yesterday? Yes. Just don't say through the voice. Just write it in the chat. So, uh, we discussed what yesterday? Network, networking, then types of networks, types of networks, and uh, sorry, that was the uh, day before yesterday. Sorry. Then we discussed yesterday what IP address. Yes. IP address uh, completely IP version 4 then in that we discussed uh, how it is been divided from the bits to the decimal decimal to the uh, classes then we discuss what are the classes uh, a b c d e d what is the range how to identify then we also discuss 
the uh, class a will have how many network bit and how many host bit class b also c also then network bit indicate the network and the host bit indicate with the practical of like how to get the icons when we log in first time default you will get only you will get only what one icon that is the recycle beam how to get the other icons i shown you then i also shown you how to give the ip address and are assigned the ip address statically or manually then we discuss how we can create a local users and finally before the session was closed yesterday we discussed uh, in 2012 using the powershell how we can convert our os from the gui to cli and cli to gui so that was our yesterday session so i said today we are going to discuss what topic anybody remember before i finish the session i said today our session will be about what uh, somebody is right or not ad no no it's about topology yes i got the answer so today our session today our session will be about topology so today our session will be about mm -hmm. what topology so first of all what do you mean by topology topology means what yes anybody topology means what a simple way topology means what anybody is aware if you are aware you write it otherwise we'll discuss just to make the session interactive i am asking this so if anybody is aware to the terminology called topology you can write it in the you can write it in the word chat yes i got few answer and they are correct so in simple word you can remember that topology means what how your network is designed the layout of your network so designing of the network is been done or it been understand with the help of what the term called topology so topology in a simple word is what how your devices are connected in a network we discussed what is mean by network network means what a collection of devices but how those devices are connected in the network that is been done with the term called topology so designing a layout of your devices how they are connected that is discussed or that will be done through the term called topology it is clear to everybody somebody wrote the other appropriate word it is a pattern how the devices are connected in the network so you can use that terminology also yes so it is clear to others so the topology if somebody ask what will you what your answer should be topology means what the layout or the design in the network that is called topology yes so now we'll see how many types of topology yes layout of your network is called as what designing of your network is called as what topology so how many types of topologies are there any one just guess it if you don't know also when i say how many means i'm asking the number so tell me 1 2 3 i got some answers like 4 2 5 so today we are discussing the term called topology what we are discussing So my question was how many types of topology we have so the correct answer is i have but some wrong answers also there so let me correct so the term topology so topology consists of how many type two types how many types of topology we have two types yes somebody wrote very correctly and the name also so one of the topology is called physical and the other one is called logical so what is the difference between physical topology and the logical so how many types of topology you have two types what are they physical topology and logical topology so physical topology means first of all the topology means what layout or designing of our network so physical topology means what the layout or the devices how the devices are connected which we can see 
Physical topology means what? How the devices are connected. How the devices are connected. Which we can see that is called physical topology. So how the devices are connected, which we can see. It's called as what? It is called as what? Physical topology. I repeat once again, physical topology means what? Which we can see how our devices are connected that is what called physical topology then logical topology will be what opposite which we cannot which we cannot see so logical topology means what which we cannot see so let us see the example which we can see physical topology is what which we can see so example for physical topology physical topology means what how our devices are connected which we can able to see that is what called physical topology so the example for physical topology how our devices are connected in the network any example for that yes that is the correct answer so the topology which are generally physical topology which is used to arrange the devices in a network are like bus ring mesh star these are the some of the topology we have to which our devices in the network will be arranged. So how our devices will be connected will be done by using the physical topology. Physical topology means which we can see. So to arrange our devices, we use in the physical topology like bus structure or ring structure or mesh or star. My voice is breaking. Somebody said. I got few reply. It is clear to others. See, don't change it. Somebody's changing it. Please don't change the screen. Otherwise, you can't able to see my screen. Okay. One minute. Yes, many on that. You have to take Look at the same I just wait, wait a few minutes. Mm -hmm. 
So everybody wait for a minute. We got some issue here. How many types of topologies we have? What are they? Can you able to hear me, all of you? How many types of topologies we have? Two types. What are they? Physical topology and logical. Physical means what I said, which we can able to see, like how our devices are connected. So to connect our devices, we generally use certain structure like bus, ring, mesh, star. These are called Physical topologies. Logical topology means what? Which we cannot see. Example for that, logical topology, what we are going to discuss? What we are going to discuss? What it will show? Logical topology. How our data will be transmitted. So in the logical topology, it will show what? How our data in the devices will be transmitted or will be flowing. So the mechanism which is used for the flow of data is called as what? Logical topologies. Did you understood? So first we'll discuss about what? Physical topology. Then we'll discuss about what? How it is transmitted, the data, the devices. How will be the data in the devices? How it will be transmitted? That is comes under what logical topology. Okay. So now, do you have any idea like bus, ring, mesh, star? Out of this, which topology is the best? Just those whoever want to say something, please say it in the chat. I'm seeing it. Oh, yes, the best one is what? Star, not the mesh. So why? I'll show you here. Why the star is best? We can see here. So suppose I have number of devices. 
so if these devices are connected devices are connected one after the other this type of structure is called as what this type of structure is called as what bus so it is something like appearing like a bus so these are my machine or any devices which are connected in the network then they are connected in the form of this order then it is called as what then it is called as what bus so in this the drawback is what what is the drawback with that if one of the devices suppose in the middle one of the device got corrupted or failed then what will happen what will happen the others also after that device whatever is there after that they will also get affected so this is the main problem with the this is the main problem with the bus right so suppose example these are my machines connected in the serial order this is called bus structure so imagine this machine got problem so now after this machine these other two machine will also get affected so this is the biggest drawback with what bus now same way if the devices are connected in the form of say suppose like this then it is called ring so this is the structure is called as what ring now in this structure same problem exist so suppose these are my machines now in this machine if one of the machine get break down like so suppose here the two got problem then what happens this complete link is got broken so it will have the effect on other so that's why if you compare the bus and ring they have this type of problem now if you talk about the mesh structure so suppose i have devices so four devices are there means if we want communication with this four the one should be connected with all the three same way the other also should be connected with each other so it's a very complex so that's why this is also avoided and the best structure is what generally used in a network to connect the devices is what star so when we talk about the star how these devices will be arranged like this so there will be some connect network connecting devices to these devices we will be connecting what this is our network connecting devices so we discuss to create our lan generally we are using what switch now our devices will be connected like this so now suppose i have this number of devices now one of the device get affected now this device got affected but it will not have any effect on the other remaining devices so that effect will be limited or restricted to the machine which have the problem so this is the best advantage we have with the start so now you tell me which uh, structure is best in the physical topology bus ring mesh or star star so that's why we generally connect our devices using the star so did you understood now what is meant by physical topology so how the devices are connected through certain mechanism or structure that is called as what which we can able to see that is what called physical topology next important task for us is to discuss what logical topology now our next topology is what logical topology so what do you mean by logical topology which we cannot see so this topology uh, importance is what so through this topology we can able to understand which we cannot see but we can able to understand the flow of the data how the data is been how the data has been flowed that will be discussed under the logical topology so i repeat once again logical topology means what which we cannot see but through the logical uh, topology the movement of the data flow can be understood so for that we have two models how the data will be transmitted in our network connected devices will be understood with the help of what 
logical topology is it clear to everybody uh, yes the moment or the flow of our data which are be, uh, which are being exchanged in our network connecting devices that can be understood with the help of what logical topology so this flow or the movement of our data flow depends upon in the logical topology on the models so in the logical topology the data transmission depends upon the model which we are using depending upon that the data flow will be there so now we will concentrate on which model uh, which topology logical topology so did you understood the difference between physical topology and logical yes or shall i repeat anything so now we'll move to the logical logical topology so you want me to explain once again the mesh topology or just see here i'll i'll show you once again the mesh topology it is complex that's why it is avoided so suppose i have here four machines these are my machine system 1 system 2 system 3 system 4 so your requirement is what generally they should communicate with each other these are my employees or the user city so now if system 1 want to have communication with the uh, remaining three machine means system 1 should be connected with the system 2 system 3 system 4 these are my system 2 these are system 3 this now in this now system 1 can able to communicate with 2 3 4 but what about the 3 now can the 3 able to communicate with the 4 uh, and 2 no so if you want the third user also to communicate with the third user can communicate with one but cannot communicate with what second user and fourth so again you need to have a link from this third system to second system then from third system to fourth now the fourth can communicate with the three and one but it cannot communicate with the second one so again you need to have a link with what second machine so this type of connectivity is called as what mesh where each one has to be connected with each other so which is a very complex so for four you have so many links so suppose imagine if you have 20 machines then you need to connect all of them with each other so that is the issue with the mesh topology so did you got some idea so did you got some idea now so now now can we go for the next one so they cannot communicate in star it is possible how we'll see that so in the star what happens the devices are connected via network connecting device so this suppose this is my network connecting devices and now the machines are connected like this now you don't need each devices to be connected with each other so if they belong to same network then they are in the same network means everybody can able to for a minute all of you just wait for a minute
Yes. So now we'll proceed with what? Logical topology. So did you understood up to this, the structure, physical structure, everybody? Yes, are you still any doubt is there? If you have any doubt, I'll just repeat once again. If you are clear with this, I'll go to the next. So what is the next topic we have to discuss? Logical topology. So this is very important for us. So now we'll discuss how the data will be flowing. So the data flow, a movement will be based on in the logical topology, based on the which model you are using. So the data transmission in logical topology depends upon the which model you are using. So now we are discussing which one? Logical topology. So in the logical topology, the data transmission depends on the which type of model you are using. So how many types of models we have in the logical topology? Two types of models are there in the logical topology. What they are called? Work group model. One of the group uh, model name is what? Work group model. And the second model name is what? Domain model. So how many models we have in the logical topology? Two types of model. What they are called? Work group model or domain model. So in the work group model, all machines will be what? Independent. There is no server, no client. But whereas in the domain model, there will be concept of server as well as client. So this domain model can be also referred as what? Client and server model. Client and server model. But mostly we use the term what? Domain model. And in the work group model, there will be no server, no client. All machines are independent of each other. So that's why here there is no concept of what? No server, no client. So which is called work group model. The other model is what? Domain model. So did you understood how many types of models we have in the logical topology? Two types. What are they? Work group model and domain model. Work group model and domain model. So now we'll start discussing what? Both this model because the data flow will be depending upon which type of model you are using in your network. So this work group model where there is no concept of no server, no client, it also called as what? Peer to peer model. The other name is what? Peer to peer model. There is no server, no client concept in there. So one to one, they are independent to each other. So it is also referred as what? Peer to peer model. And the second model is what domain model where the concept of client and server will be there. So it can be also referred as client server model. Yes. So we'll start with which model first? Work group model. Okay. Now let us concentrate first on the work group model. So in the slide, you can see. Here it is given directly about the logical topology. Physical topology we already discussed. So you can see find here. So in the logical topology, the data transmission depends upon the model. So how many models we have there? Two types of model. What are they? Work group model, which is also called as what peer to peer model. And the other model is what? Domain model, which is also can be referred as client server model. So first we will concentrate on which model work group model okay now, when the machine will become client or server that you have to wait few minutes after that you can ask me that question so first we will proceed with which one work group model so let us start our uh, concept about work group model now, let's suppose we are discussing first which model, which model? Yes, work group model. So now, for, to understand in a simple way, I'm taking four machines. 
you will have like this any number of machine the concept is same so now suppose four machines are there this is my system one this is my system two this is my system three and this is my system four so if i have four machines my requirement is what they should be connect, they should be communicating with each other so how do you connect them can you connect directly all to each other no you required we discussed this when we were discussing the network connecting devices so now tell me what you will use here to connect these four devices can i have the answer in the chat box so how do you connect these four devices yes we have to use what networking connecting device like generally we will go with, with what switch so based on how many clients are the machines you have based on that that many port number switch you have to purchase generally it will be in terms of what even number 8 port 16 port 32 like this so i'm having these ports so i'll be connecting through one port each machine so now i have here four machines so i have connected to four ports so like this connected now once i connected will they communicate system one system two system three with each other no physical connectivity is done but we need also for communication which connectivity which other connectivity you required yes logical connectivity so logical connectivity is given by using the ip address so yesterday we discussed in the ip address when the devices will be communicating with each other when they belong to same network without router i am saying we are not using here router we are using what switch so in the switch if you want your devices to communicate with each other the all the devices should be belong to same network so i'm example taking 10.0.0.1 this ip so now tell me this is which class ip you remember yesterday session or forgotten yes nice class a now the second machine ip address can be 10.0.0.1 again can be one no why if i give two machines same ip what happens yes conflict will take place so now my ip address is what other machine two so this we have discussed yesterday yes now other machine ip address is let's suppose three other machine ip address is what four so now let us assume that there are four employees who are currently working on these four machines and these four machines are are connected through a switch connected to a switch now they will can communicate with each other so as an administrator i created for four employees four account in the system one i created user one account in system two user two account in system three user three account and system four user four account now like the setup is there so one of the advantage with the work group model is what they are independent but i can use any os in any machine let's uh, suppose uh, system one is installed with windows 7 i can have in system 2 any other os so example here windows 10 let's uh, suppose in system 3 i am using windows 8 now in system 4 so suppose i am using windows 2012 can we use server os in the work group model or no yes we can use that is the simplicity any os you can use on any machine so this is the connectivity i'm using and every day the users are working there is no problem but one fine day what happens uh, due to some issue it may be a hardware or the software issue this system one is not working and the user one came then now he checked his machine is not uh, working and he's not able to log in he told to the administrator imagine you are an administrator now the other three machines are empty now what you will suggest to the user one till you rectify that problem uh, go to the other machine so now suppose the user two is sitting in the system one daily he used to sit in the system one but now he's sitting uh but he's sitting now on system two now my doubt is now when we talk about when we talk about now the different os i mean to say it is windows related os you can use linux but then the sharing will not take place you have to use some other suitable services for sharing between windows to linux you can use it 
but you have to configure additional things. So purely you think about this course as a Windows based. So all my OS are what? Windows based operating system. It can be server or client. Now you are an admin. Now I'm a user one. So I'm trying to use the system too. Can I log in or not? You tell me. This is work group model. Can I log in or I cannot log in? So now I'm getting the uh, reply, which is both. Some people saying can log in, some people saying cannot log in. So I need to clarify this point. So now in system two, whose account is being created by the administrator, user two, whether user one and the user one login. No. So in system two, unless until administrator login and create the U1 account, the user one cannot log in. So now administrator, since that first machine is gone, he login and created the account for U1. Now can the U1 login? Can the U1 login? Yes. Now the U1 has logged in. Now imagine U2 has came. Now his machine has been work, uh, is been used by the one user now he is asking my machine is being used by another person so i want to use another machine now system 3 is there so now can the user 3 or user 2 can log in into the system 3 straight away can he log in no so what is the then remedy or solution again you are admin again you need to create his account here now he can log in now system 4 uh, for system four, the user three came. Ah, this is what called local user account. So now administrator created for user three this. Now all the users came now. Let's say suppose U4 is also came. Now the U, uh, first machine is now ready. So now you are creating the account here. So now today you got the solution, but by seeing this difficulty, the Management ask you, why don't you make a setup that any user should log in for any machine? Now you are an administrator. Four users are there, four machines are there. And they given you the requirement that any user should log in from any machine. So what you'll do now? Yes, tell me. Tell me means don't please switch on, uh, don't unmute your mic. So just write it in the chat. So somebody saying go to the domain model. No, I want to use this only. I want to work with work group model. Then what is the solution? I don't want to change my model. I want to work with work group model. Is there any solution? The question is every user should log in into any machine. Yes, that is the answer. I need to create as an administrator all user account in all machine. So how many users are there for me? four users. So my, I need to create in four machine, all four user accounts. So now I'm creating it. User one, user four, user three, user two. Now I created all users in all machines. Now every user can log in into any machine now? Yes. Now is there any problem with this setup now? What is the problem now? Uh, if more users, yes, like, yes, that is the complement. Even when you do any policy change, if you are suppose restricting one particular thing for one user, now if the user is changing the machine means you need to do that for one user in all machine. So imagine if you are 50 users, 50 machine, then so much complicated. So this type of problem can be easily overcome by using what? It is a very complex, very time consuming, laborious process. So how do you overcome this type of problem? Is there any solution? Yes, is there any solution for this type of issue? Yes, what is the solution? Yes, we can go for what? Domain model. So did you understood? The advantage is there in this work group model. What is that simplicity? Any OS you can use anywhere, but there are drawbacks like it is not uh, whatever you want to do, you have to do in all the machine like user account has to be created. And if you want to apply any policy change, it has to be done on all machines. 
So it is suitable if you have only few machines. But what about if you have number of machines? Then you cannot able to work with this type of model. So the solution for this issue is what we can use in our setup what domain model. So generally we will use in the live environment client uh, work group model or domain model. According to you, which model is bet better? Yes. So now in our course, we will be completely discussing from today onwards till the end of our course. We will be working through work group model or domain model. Yes, our complete course will be based on what? Whatever may be the size of your company, small, medium, large, any, the domain model is best. So we'll see now the second model, which is called domain model, or it is also called as what? Client server model. Yes. So did you understood the work group model? What are its uh, disadvantages? Yes, you know. So shall I proceed with the next model? What is the next model? Okay. So now we will now we'll take this four machine, but we will discuss this according to the domain model. So now, uh, what do you want me to repeat? Uh, work group model. Just now I said, I'll repeat once more. So suppose in the work group model, whatever changes you want to do, the changes has to be done in all the machine. Like I took the simple example, user account. So four users, four, uh, four to any machine means, for four users, how many accounts you are creating? All four accounts need to be created in all four machines. So square time. So now imagine 20 users are there means 20 square. Means how many accounts you have to create? 20, 20 in each machine in 20 means 400 times. So will you do like that? No. If any policy changes has to be done means again it has to be done in all machines. So this type of problem can be easily overcome by using the domain model. So that is what we are going to see now. Okay. Now I'll take same four machines, but we will discuss them according to the domain model. Okay. And that I told you, you know, beginning, if there is some issue, we'll get it. You will get it. Now, let's say, suppose. Again, I am having how many models now? Uh, how many machines are there? Four machines again. But now we are discussing this according to the domain model. Domain model means what now? Domain model means other name. Yes, client server model. So now, these four machines are there. This again is connected through the, again, it is connected through the switch. But now this is called domain model. So domain model means what? Server and client means there will be relationship between the machine in the form of what? Server and client, who is server, who is client. So that relationship will be there in the domain model. So now let us assume that to make the domain model, first condition is what? The machine to whom you want to make a domain model should be client OS or server OS. Yes, this is the first prerequisite. Suppose I want my system one to be made as a server. I want my system one to be make as a server. So what should I do now? I need to install in this some server OS. So let's say suppose I install here 2012. Then my system two is there. In this, I install so suppose Windows 7. Then this is my system three. In this, I install so suppose Windows 10. My system four is there. In this, I install so suppose Windows 2000 operating system. Can I use like this now in domain model? 
like in workgroup model, I can use any OS. But why doubt is here now in the domain model? Can we have server OS and client OS? Yes, we can have. What is the difference? We'll see in the coming day session. So just remember now, now I want this machine to be made as what? Server, first machine. So what should I do? Now, here also four users are there. How many users are there? Four users are there. So now, where do you create this four user account? In individual machine or in the server machine? Four users are there. Now, where do you create the users? So previously in the workgroup model, we created the user account in all the machine. Now, where do you create? Yes, only in one machine. Which one? See, suppose this is my server machine. So I'll create the user account. How many users are there in my case? Four users. So I'll create four users account in my server machine. Then any user can log in from any machine at any time. So any user can log in into any machine anytime. This is the advantage with what? Domain model. But my question is, now I created one machine with server OS. Here also server OS is there in other machines. This is also server OS, so automatically it will become server. Now if I create the user just by using the server OS, will it become the domain users and any user can log in from any machine? Is it that way? So in the previous case, workgroup also, we had a server OS. In that also, I, my question I'll repeat. So I took one machine and installed, say, suppose some server OS. I created there for four user, four account. Now, can I assume that these four users will become domain user automatically and any user can log in anywhere? Or we have to do something as an administrator. I just use the 2012 server operating system. I log in as administrator, created four user account. And I have another four machines. So in that, can I log in with any user in any machine? Yes or no? So now I'm getting the mixed reply. Some are saying yes, some are saying no. Yes. What is the correct answer now? Tell me. Answer is what? No. How they will know each other? How just it is created a user in server OS. So yes, we have not made domain and our network has not become the centralized. So whatever user you have created after installing the 2012 server OS, that user will be working like a local user. That user will log in only in which machine the admin has created. But what is your requirement? This users which are created in the server OS should log in from any machine. So for that to happen, you have to do certain things. What are those certain things you have to do? You have to make your machine or your network as a domain model. So how do you make your network as a domain model now? So first condition is the one of the machine should have server OS that is fulfilled. So I need to make my uh, network as a domain model, how to do it so that everything will become centralized. So how I can do it? Ah, what you are saying is correct. All machines should be in the domain, but that is my question. How to make all machine into my domain? Yes, that is the correct answer. So in this machine, server OS machine, before I create any user account, I need to install the domain service. So what is the domain service we'll use in our operating system? The service name is what? ADDS. What is the service name? ADDS. ADDS stands for? What is the abbreviation for ADDS? Active Directory Domain Service. What is the abbreviation for ADDS? Active Directory Domain Service. After you install this service, then after installing the service, then you create these users. Then those users can log in into the any machine. Then a domain will be created and your network will become 
centralized. So this is the difference. Now, for four users, how many accounts you are creating now compared to the work group model? Now, any user can log in from any machine now. So how many times you, uh, you are creating the account in how many machines you are creating? Only in one machine. How, for four users, how many accounts you are creating? Only four. But whereas in the work group model, for four users, how many accounts you have created in four machines? Total 16, four square, 16. So if it is 20 users, 20 square means 400. Here, for 20 users, if I'm using the domain model, how many users I need to create? 20 only. In how many machine? Only one machine. So this is the advantage with what? Domain model. But domain will not be created automatically. It has to be created. So to create that, it cannot be done manually. For that, there is a procedure. First, we need to install a service called ADDS. Then we need to make our machine as a domain controller. What is that? We'll discuss now. So these are the things you have to do. After that, you create a user. Then you need to add those machines into your domain. Then they'll become like your client machine. Then those machine can be uh, from those machine, the users which have been created from the server can log in. Those users are called domain users. So user will be created in the server and the user can log in from any machine which has been joined into the domain. Either it is a server OS or client OS. What is the difference? We'll see later on. So did you understand now some basic idea you got about the workgroup model and domain model? Now you tell me which model you think is better for you or which one is more advantageous? Yes, domain model. So our focus will be more on now from today till the end of our course on domain model because of this so many advantage. Now, if you want to apply any changes, policy changes, you have to do in all machine or only in server machine? Yes, only in server machine if you do, that will be applicable to any user on any machine. This is the advantage with the domain model. Because after you make that machine as a domain, your network will become centralized with the help of that service, ADDS. Okay. So now, same thing you can see from the slide, whatever I said, you can see here. Uh, okay, you want me to repeat this? Just see. It. The domain model means what? In this first condition, a machine should be installed with a server OS, like I did. Then it will not become the domain unless until, I'll show you the slide, just give me a second. So unless until you install one service, that service is what? ADDS. Then after installing that service, you have to make your machine as a domain controller. How to do that? I'll show you practically. Then create the users. Then those users are called domain users. Now, any machine you can log in into, into a, with any user, but for that one condition is there. First, you need to join that machine into your domain. Then the user can log in from any machine. So this is about the work group model. Sorry, this is about the domain model. So previously we have seen which model? Work group model. Now we have discussed domain model. So which one is more better? Domain model is better. Now, same thing, whatever I told you, you can see from here. So how many types of logical topologies we have? Two types. What are they? Per group model, which is also referred as peer to peer model, the domain model, which is also referred as client to server model. So first, in the work group model, all the computers are what? Independent, means peer. No computer has control over the other. So if I have how many users and I want all users to uh, log in from any machine means how many users are there? That many user account has to be created in all the machine in the work group model. Then coming to the domain model here. In the domain model, you, uh, you can have minimum one server. But more than one server, possible, yes, but minimum one server. Then you have to make what 
that machine that machine as a server by using a service called ADDS. Then from that machine, you can have the security or the control or the permission on all our all other machine in your network. So whatever changes you make that will be applicable to all the machines in your domain. So now which one is easier for controlling for managing domain mode? that question what you ask uh, can we control from any domain any server in the domain that we will discuss slowly or in coming day session so like somebody asked can we have only one master server that also you wait for a few minutes we'll discuss that Shall I wait for this slide or can I go to the next slide? When, when I'm waiting for you just to take note this down, don't think that voice is not coming and no voice, no voice like this. Please don't write. Just I'm waiting for you to note it down that point. Okay. If it is done, can I move to the next slide? Everybody? Okay. So now we'll see the next slide. So whatever I shown you, same diagram you can find here. This is which model? Work group model. So in work group model, you can have only server OS or client OS or any OS. Like here, you can see in the diagram. It is a combination of Server OS and client OS, you can have anything. But one machine will not have a control over the other. There is no server, no client concept here. They are independent of each other. So that's why whatever you want to do it and you want and you want to achieve it from other machine means you have to do it all other machine also. So everything has to be done in all machine if you want everything to be accessed from anywhere. So this is related with what work group model. Now let's come back to the domain model. So yesterday I shown you how to create a user. So that will be a local user or domain user. So you have to be clear about local user and domain user. Local user means what? A user which is created in which machine? That machine only that user can or will log in. That type of users are called local user. So in the work group model, all users will be which type uh, comes under which category of users, local or domain user, local users. Means where it is created, there only it will log in. But if you make your model as a domain model, then you can have after the domain is created, domain users. So what is the advantage with domain you? users the user will be created in one machine but that user can log in from any machine if that machine is a part of that domain this is the difference between local user and domain user are you clear with this so yesterday i shown you how to create a local user so today first i'll show you how to make domain model after that we'll create a users those users are called domain users. But before that, we have to make domain. So what are the difficulties in the workgroup model? Everything has to be created in all the machines. Like I took the example of the user account. So this type of problem can be overcome by using the other model. So now, suppose, user one account is created in system one 
Now user two is trying to log in from system one. Can you log in? No. So it means something authentication process is running on. If I created the user account user two in system one, then I try to log in. It will allow me. So some authentication problem, uh, authentication protocol is taking place. Is running there in the local user or in workgroup model also? Yes. So what is the authentication protocol used in a workgroup model? Local user model. So you can just note it down that protocol which has been used for verifying the user authentication is been done with the protocol called NTLM. What is the protocol? I'll write it here. So the authentication protocol which is used in the workgroup model. Not saying about the domain model, it is for the work group model. So you can note it down somewhere. So in the work group model, authentication takes place. No, so the authentication here takes place with the help of a protocol called NTLM. What is the abbreviation for NTLM? It is called as New Technology LAN. Manager. So this is the authentication protocol used in the workgroup model for verifying the user account authentication. Now suppose in the workgroup model, user one has written some data and he went away. User two came. User two account is also there in that. Now he also created the data, or he is sitting in other machine. So where the user one data will be stored? Where he log in. So for that also, database file will be there. So in the workgroup model, what is the database file they used to store the data? Database file is what called SAM. What it is called? SAM. The abbreviation for that is what? Security Account Manager. So remember the database file in the workgroup model is what? SAM. And the protocol used for authentication is what? NTLM. These are the two things you noted down. It is for the workgroup model. Now, same thing will be there authentication protocol and database file, even in the workgroup model. So, first you noted down for the workgroup model, then we'll discuss about the domain model. means security account manager. So it is not centralized, it is local. Group model means it is local, not centralized. Changes will be limited to which machine you have done. It is not centralized. It is local. Now let us talk about the domain model. Yes. So it is a file, database file. M is what? Database. Not dashboard, database. Now, let us go to the this model now. Our group model.
now coming to the domain model what is the domain model now this one now here there will be a concept of what there is a concept of what server and client so now everything will be done from the server now here the user account is created on the server now here if suppose i created a user one account but somebody is try, trying to log in with other name can it be allowed no so here this is been checked that user account is created with so and so name and so and so password it is verified with the help of a protocol called cerberus protocol so what is the authentication protocol used in the domain model cerberus protocol whereas in the workgroup model ntlm protocol used for authentication in domain model is what cerberus protocol Once the authentication is done, then only the user can log in. So now we are going to focus on what make our model as a domain model. What service we need to install? There is a service called ADDS. ADDS stands for what? Active Directory Domain Active Service. Domain Service. Our focus will be now on which service? ADDS. a minute we'll proceed with what domain model already requested you how many people log in with your student id but still most of the people are logging with your name please ensure that you log in with your id I'll show you one more. Wait a minute. Which slide you need? Cerberus. Uh, we'll focus on make our model as a domain model which service we need without that service we cannot create a domain that service name is what ADDS which stands for 
Active Directory domain services. Now we are focusing on this service. Make our network as what? Domain. So that everything will become centralized. So this is what ADDS is a what? Service. Which type of service? Database service, which stores the Active Directory object information. So what are the Active Directory objects? Users, computer, group. So this object information it stores in its database file. So Active Directory is what? It's a database service which is used to store the Active Directory object information. So what are the Active Directory objects? Users, group, computer. So you can say here Active Directory database stores information on user identity, computer, group services and resources. So Active Directory domain controller means where the Active Directory service is running, that machine here is called as what? Domain controller, a machine or a server in which ADDS service is running, which stores the information is called as what? ADDS. ADDS is a service which stores the information, but ADDS service is running in which machine? That machine is called as what? Domain controller. Please be clear about these two things. ADDS is a service, whereas DC, in short, it is called DC means domain controller. So domain controller is what? A machine or a server in which that ADDS service is running. So ADDS domain controller hosts the service through which authentication of users and computer will be done in the domain. So the authentication is done to the domain controller by using the protocol called Kerberos protocol. What is the protocol it uses for authenticating the users before they log in? Security should be there now. So that security name is here is what? Kerberos. Will you please note down this two important point. ADDS is a service which stores the information. Whereas the domain controller is a server in which that ADDS service is storing the information. And this domain controller will, before provide the service, will authenticate the users, whether they are authenticated domain user or not, using the Kerberos protocol. So are you clear with this tooth term? ADDS is a service which stores the information, whereas the domain controller is a server which hosts the service. So before it provides the services, domain controller will authenticate the user. Before the user use the ADDS service, the domain controller will authenticate the user so that only authenticated domain users are able to access the ADDS service. Clear with these two terms? Okay, can I proceed with the next one? So now, next is what? The purpose of Active Directory. So here, the users, authenticated users only can use the service by using a protocol called Kerberos. And this information of users computer, group, all these things is stored in a centralized place. That centralized place is called database file. So to manage the things easily and in a simple way, centralization has to be done. So when we create this domain model, centralized will be achieved so that we can able to control and manage everything to the centralized atmosphere. With uh, ADDS, what is the purpose of ADDS? Provide the services and it also makes our domain or our network what? Centralized so that we can able to easily manage our resources, services, everything can be managed easily. And 
at the same time we have a security only authenticated users can use these services not others remember there is a term called decentralized means if suppose your network becomes too large then it is uh, not easy to manage by one person so you can give some of your control to somebody else that is what called decentralized so we have a session where i will discuss about decentralization all decentralizing means what giving some of our resources or control to the others managing a Simple way. Okay, done with this. So what do you mean by domain? So with the help of the domain model, we are creating what domain. So domain means what? It's a logical grouping of users, computer, and group under a common name the purpose of security and management. Once you note it down, we will have the practical how to make. So a domain cannot be there without a domain controller. So to manage your domain, you need at least for one domain, one domain controller. So how to make domain and how to make our domain controller. That is what we will see practically now. Once you are done with this, we'll start the practical. So we'll focus on workgroup model or domain model now. Which one you want to create? Yes, domain model. So whenever you take any machine, by default it will exist like a domain or by workgroup. I've taken one machine, install the OS, any OS, server OS or client OS. So that machine by default exists as a workgroup or domain group very nice so we'll see how to make the domain model it is okay now everybody shall we proceed with the practical okay. so now you please remember three terms whereas the this is a domain controller means it is server or a machine on which edds service is running and domain domain means what it is a logical boundary under that all users, groups, and computer works under a common name for the purpose of easy management and security. So these three terms you should be aware about today's session. One, I repeat once again, ADDS is a service which stores the information, whereas the DC domain controller, it is a server is a server in which ADDS service is running and domain, domain is a logical boundary under which all our users computer works under a common name for the purpose of easy management and good security. Okay, did you understood? I'll repeat once again. 
ADDS is a service which stores the information of Active Directory objects like users, group, computers. Whereas the EC, which is called as domain controller, it is a server. It is a server or a machine in which ADDS service is running. And domain, domain is a logical boundary under which all our computer users and group will be working under a common name for the purpose of centralized management and security. Is it clear now? Is it okay now? Shall we go to the practical? Now let us see how we can start. How we can start to make our network as domain models so that we can achieve the centralization. And one important point you remember this domain is identified with the help of DNS name. DNS name means what? A name with some extension. Like I'm saying, uh, some name like Zoom. When I say this name, this is called what? Simple way, flat name or NetBIOS name. But if I say zoom.in or zoom.com, zoom.co, so this is what called a name with extension. That name is called DNS domain name. So when you create a domain, the domain should have compulsory a name in the format of what? DNS domain name. So domain is identified with the help of or it's created with the help of DNS domain name. So you remember, DNS domain name means a name with some extension like zoom.com, google.com, anything. A name with extension. It's called as what? DNS domain name. So that's it for theoretical part. Now we will concentrate on the practical, how to make our model as a domain model. And one more thing you remember, if somebody asks you, what is the symbol for the domain? So you should say a triangle. So domain is what? A logical boundary. That boundary is represented with the help of what? Triangle. Like here, the domain should have some name. In which format? DNS domain name. So that example here is MS. If I give only MS means it's called NetBIOS name. But if I give an MS.com means it is a domain name, which is in the format of DNS domain name. So domain name has to be in DNS domain name format. Can I proceed with the practicals? Yes. So these are the important terms you have to remember, please. I repeated multiple times. If you want, once again, I can repeat, but don't forget this. So, shall I repeat once more or it's enough? You should be aware about what are the terms I said. You should be aware about what is meant by ADDS, what is DC, and what is domain. Are you clear with this? Uh, don't worry about what is EMS. We'll discuss tomorrow. So let us start with uh, today's session practical. Our requirement is what? I need to make my machine 
are my environment as what domain all my machines should be under a centralized environment so for that first i need to create a domain so how do i create a domain so to create a domain first i need to install a service called adds that service which is running in which machine that machine need to be changed into or made into domain controller so this is what we are going to do now so yesterday we use this machine now same machine now this machine is working like a workgroup or domain yes this machine is working like a workgroup now i will change it into the domain now i'll change it that into the domain so for that what should i do what should i do install a service this service adds yes nice now for this i need to log in with which user who can do this which user can do this only administrator so that's why i'm logging with which user administrator now generally i told you previously uh, in the old client operating system generally when you want to install any application where do you go where do you go you will go to the control panel either to add or remove the services but now we are getting from the 2012 what a separate console which is called here what server manager console or dashboard so whenever you log in you will get by default where onto the server manager console can you see here the server manager console by default it will be coming suppose you are closed or it is didn't come again you can open it how to open the server manager console go to your taskbar the first thing here at the left side first thing you keep the cursor it is showing you what server manager can you see just click on that server manager will get open now how many services already installed how do you know on this you see the left side can you see on the my left side like it is written dashboard local server all servers uh, file and storage service so is there any name of the adds there no it means what the adds service is not installed till now so my machine is existing like a work group so my machine is existing like a work group so this is a condition you have to remember when you want to make your machine as a domain first your machine should be having server os then second condition your machine should be in work group by default it will be in work group but you have to check it so how do you check it whether your machine is in the work group or not so once again i'll show you how to check it you can see here so first you go to your machine right click then properties now you can find here the machine is existing by default into which group work group now i'll change it by installing a service which service adds so once i install that service i make that machine in which i install the adds as a domain controller then that machine will become into a domain model so here in place of work group model you will find domain model now before that we need to change our system name for simplicity so you can see here my system name is something like computer name some name is there which is not easy to remember so what i'll do first i'll change my system name how to change my system name just click on change setting now click on change setting after that click on change so you find that name which is already existing so i don't want that name i want some simple name so just in place of that computer name you write some simple name so i like i have given one simple name i like system 1 and by default this machine is existing as a work group now say okay now when you do the changes here it will ask for restart so just say okay and restart now your system name will change from this name to what what is the simple name i given system 1 now you can see it once the system gets restart can see this so before you install this service you change your system name next thing is what ip address so yesterday i shown you how to assign the ip address again i'll do it
why I didn't change means it will automatically change into the domain once I install the service called ADDS. That's why I'm showing you the computer is existing like a work group. So if if you want, still I'll show you here. My system name has been changed, but my system is existing like a work group. Here you will not find the name domain name. It will automatically change once I install the service called ADDS. Okay. So now system name has been changed to system one. Can you find them now? Next thing is what you check the IP address. So how do you check the IP address? Go to your network icon, right click properties. Click on change adapter setting. Now you can find. Once again, I'll repeat. To give the IP address, go to your network icon, right click, then go to the properties, then click on change setting. You will get here what? Your LAN card, your LAN card, in my case, my LAN card name is what? Ethernet zero. Select it, right click, properties. Then we are assigning which IP address? IP version four or six? IP version four, select it. Then go to the properties. Now yesterday I given the IP address, 10.0.0.1 subnet mask. But today we need to give one more IP address. So when we install the ADDS service, this ADDS service will get installed along with the DNS service because this DNS service is integrated with ADDS. So I don't have to install separately the DNS, but when I install the ADDS service, by default, one more service will get installed. Which one? DNS. So this service, ADDS I'm installing in which machine? 10.1. In that same machine, my DNS is also getting installed. So my preferred DNS IP should be same as that of my machine. So in my preferred DNS, what should I give? What is my machine IP address? Same IP address I need to give. Why? Because, why? Because, yes, you can go with your doubt. Everybody is not able to hear or only the Sai is not able to hear. Others, can you able to hear me? Yes, the others are saying here they are able to hear. No, so you check from your side. All are able to hear me. So now, what I said, uh, my IP address of the machine is what some IP. Like in my case, I given ten dot zero dot zero dot one. Subnet mask automatically has taken. So yesterday we did not give in the preferred DNS. But today I'm giving the preferred DNS. Why I'm giving the preferred DNS? Because I said when we install the ADDS, by default, the DNS service also will get installed because the Active Directory service is integrated with the DNS. So in which machine I'm installing the ADDS service in 10.1? So in same machine, which service also will get installed? DNS. That's why our preferred DNS IP address should be same as my preferred DNS IP address should be same as the machine IP address. So did you clear about this? I repeat once again, your machine IP address and preferred DNS IP address should be same. You can see on the screen, I given same. Is it okay now? Yes. Okay. Now I given my IP address. Now close. Now just refresh it. How do you refresh it? Just disable this and enable it. If you don't do also, it will work, but it better always you just refresh it. Now to check my machine is, is, is still existing like a work group. My machine is still existing like a work group. And my status of the work group is what? This is server OS or client OS. How do you check? Go to the run, type it what CMD. Then you can use one command called net space accounts. What you have to use? Net space accounts. So it will show you your computer role name. So you can see from the last second line, computer role is what? Server, I installed the server OS. But 
if i made this machine as a domain controller then that name will change to primary so still i did not make this machine as a domain controller i did not install any adds so that machine by default is existing like a what server if it is a client os it will show workstation adds service so before i install you can take the practical steps now yesterday i showed you this i'll be sharing this file uh, maybe today or tomorrow with everybody so today we are working with what domain model so for domain model this is the practical so yesterday we have completed this converting the os from text mode to graphical graphical to text so this is what our domain model this is our domain model so i written everything instead of writing please take a photo of that take a photo of that or snapshot of that so i written in system one login as admin it should be server os and it should be in the work group so how to check the work group i shown you right click on computer icon property change the setting name change machine name should be work group then assign the ip address for dns and ip should be same now we need to install which service which service adds now can i go to the can i go to the next page yes I'll share it just don't worry so now our next task is what how to install the adds to make the domain model so now just take a picture of this a photo of it so open the server manager console in 2003 and in 8 we used to go to the run and type it what dc promo but from 2012 we don't have to go to the run command just to you need to open the server manager console then to install this edit click on what add roles and features click on next how many time three time then check the box which box which service you want to install adds then click on what add features then next how many time three time then click on what install so with this the service will get installed but on the notification that flag color will be appearing yellow so in yellow it means what something is remaining something is pending so we install the service adds but this adds service is installed in which machine that machine need to be changed into what domain controller so to convert that machine our machine now to domain controller we need to click on what the flag then promote this machine to what dc dc means domain controller then we need to add a new forest the last option and type the domain name what is the domain name i am using it should be the name with extension you can use any name i am going with what name zoom.com so i already told you domain has to be created with the dns name dns name means a name with extension click on next then everybody up to this yes done everybody next now you note it down from the flag by doing the practical again i'll explain you either through the mail or through the whatsapp don't worry about that 
Just give me some time, today or tomorrow. Uh, everybody done with this? Can I start with the practical? Can I start with the practical? So this is the thing. How to check the verification. Taking the snapshot of that. Then the last thing, if you know how to install, you should also know how to remove. To remove the ADDS, if you want to do again in your own machine, how to remove? This is there. How to remove the it? You can do graphically also by going to the manage. And with the command, you can do very how we are doing this practical first we are installing the service and making the domain controller for removing you have to do reverse first you have to demote it we are, how we are making the dc domain controller by promoting it what is the opposite of promoting demoting so first we have to demote it then remove the adds so this is related with today's session Once you have taken the picture of this, photo of this, I will go with the practical. So whatever I have shown you, I'll return it, I'll do it practically now. So shall I begin with the practical? Yes, can I begin with the practical, everybody? Okay, I'm going with that. If anybody has not taken after the session, I'll show you. So just be there. Now I'm going. First, go to your server manager console. See here, I logged in with which user? Administrator. Open the server manager console. How to open? This. Now, you make it what? Full screen. Now, you see on the left side, is there any ADDS services installed? No. Now, you see here, the flag color. By default, the flag color is what? White. White indicate nothing is pending. Uh, yellow river things what something is remaining something is pending the red mark means something went wrong now here in the tools you check any adda services installed the components at the tools no the things are starting with c but no a now it will get installed so now i'm installing the which service adds you see the on the left side there is no adds so now i'm installing the adds how to install to install click on add roles and features now you can see the screen add roles and feature came so it's given in the notes how many time you have to give next 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 three time first click on add roles and feature then press enter uh, sorry press next how many time three time one two uh, two three then you can find here which service you want to install active directory certificate service or active directory domain service the second one so you check the box which one active directory domain service so once you check the box it will ask do you want to add these features so all these features will be get added into the adds so you should say what yes add these features so now which one is got checked here active directory domain services so again click on next how many time three time one Two, three. Now, what it is saying? Install. Which service you need to install? ADDS. Now, you see here, left side. And on the right side, this notification flag. By default, it is what? White. Now, you see the difference. Now, I'm clicking on what? Install. So, 
which service will get installed now? ADDS. Now you see the change. Now left side, did you find one service name, ADDS? And on the right side, you find what the color of the flag, which was in the white color. Now it's appearing what below the flag notification is appearing in which color? Yellow, yellow indicate what something is pending. Means now if I close it, the machine is installed with ADDS, but to control, control our domain our machine should be made as a domain controller so now this is just a machine in which ADDS is installed but i need to make this machine where ADDS is installed as a domain controller to control my entire network so this machine has not become the domain controller so i need to make this machine as a domain controller so you check here once again you go to the td then type Net space accounts. It will not show still primary. It will show the computer role name as what server only. Because this machine has not become the domain controller. So I told you repeatedly domain control is installed. So ADDS is installed in this machine. So by default, this machine will not become domain controller. I said mean we need to make it. So how to make this machine as a domain controller? So for that, I given in the notes, click on the flag. Uh, here you have the option. What is the option? Promote this server to domain controller. What is the option? Promote this server to domain controller. Now, with this option, you are converting your machine from a normal machine to a domain controller in server, with server domain controller. Understood? Now click on what? Any doubt or shall I proceed? Are you following now everybody? Write you something in the chat box. Yes or no? Okay. Server to the domain controller. Now, here, complete MCSC is based on syllabus. Complete MCSC course is based on these three things. So, by default, here, how many options you have? Three options. So, our complete MCSC is dependent on these three options. So, what is the option? By default, it is selected here. Add a domain controller to the existing domain means this option you will use when you want to make the backup of the DC. So whether we have made any DC, no, now today we are making the DC. So first option is ruled out, which option is left out two more. So second is what add a new domain to the existing. So already we made any domain, no. So third option is best. So when you create First time your domain controller, which option you need to select here? Third option. So remember the third option is used to make our machine as DC. Whereas the first option is used to make the machine as ADC. ADC is what? Additional domain controller. That is the backup of DC. So here you, you can note it down. First option, three options are there. First option is used to make the machine as ADC means additional domain controller, that is the backup of DC. Third option is used to make the machine as DC. And the second option is used to make the machine as child domain. So we'll have a session how to make ADC, how to make child domain. So today first we have to make DC. So how do you make the DC? With the third option, it is very important. That's why I'm repeating multiple times. So DC is created by using the third option. ADC is created by using the first option and the child domains are created by using the second option. If you remember these three options, you can easily work with the complete MCSC course. So the complete MCSC course is dependent on these three things. Did you understood or shall I repeat? Please tell me. Did you understood or shall I repeat? These three options.
everybody understood now read once again the third option is for dc first option is for adc second option is for child domain now whether it next is highlighting no so you need to give here root domain name so the first domain which you are creating it is called as the root domain Here, each, uh, we already told you a domain cannot be there without domain controller and domain controller name has to be in the DNS name. So DNS name means you can give any name, but the name should be ending with some extension. So it, the name should not be Zoom. The name should be anything name, but with some extension. So commonly used extension is what .com. So you can use other extension also, but commonly used is what. So this type of name is called domain name. So I given my root domain name as what? Zoom.com. So my domain will be created with what name? Zoom.com. Understood? Can I proceed with the next? Now the next is highlighting. Yes. Click on next. Now here, the forest, select the functional level of the new forest and new domain. So whichever forest you are creating first time, your DC first time parent domain or it is also called the forest domain. So first domain is called as the forest. So with what name you are creating first domain? That will be the name for your entire forest. What is forest? We have a session in coming days classes we'll discuss. Today you concentrate on domain controller. So here forest functional domain name is given as what? Windows Server 2012. So in the future, if you want to take the backup of this, so you should use only which operating system 12. But in the real time, this is what you need to purchase. So you might be having lower edition. So if you select these and proceed with the next, it will not support. So always when you create a domain controller, select the forest functional level as least value. So here, what is the least value? Server OS least value, Windows 2003. So what is the advantage with that? In the future, when I want to make the backup of DC, I can use the server OS from 2003 to 12, means I can use either 3 or 8 or 12. If I selected only 12, means compulsory I need to use only 12, not 3 or 8. So when you create, always create with the least value so that in the future, you can use either the lowest OS or the highest OS. It will support lowest to higher, but not higher to lower. So I'm selecting what is the least value, 3, 2003. Same thing we have to do for domain functional level also. So this is for the forest creating. This is for the domain. So forest and domain I am creating on this 2012. But I want the backup to be done in the future from 2003 server onwards. Means I can use either 2003 server OS or 8 or 12. It will support even 16 also. Higher, lower will support higher, but higher will not support lower. Remember. Now, whether you are getting highlighted next, no, you need to give the password. So, the password which I am assigning, it is for the domain controller. Remember, what is the password I am assigning now? That is the password for domain controller. So, to make it simple, I am keeping the admin password and domain password at same. So, I am giving zoom underscore one, two, three. Confirm it. Once it is confirmed, you will get highlighted which one next. So I repeat in the functional forest select, select the least value so that in the future you can use lowest OS also for taking the backup. And same thing you do for the domain functional level. Now give the password, then go with what next. Now what will happen? A DNS name will be created here next. So first you will get a when this blue line is going mean. The process is running. It is in the process. So we will get one first NetBIOS name. NetBIOS name means a name without extension. You see here. So you got NetBIOS name. Now you click again next. That NetBIOS name name will change into the DNS name. So DNS name means what? A name with extension. So before you get to the DNS name, it is creating what? Active Directory database file. So this will be created when we make our machine as a domain controller. So what is the database file for the Active Directory? You remember this. 
I told you the database file for the local user is what NTLM. But for the Active Directory, what is the database file? Database file name is what? NTDS dot, NTDS dot DID. So that will be created under a folder called NTDS, which is in the under C drive, under Windows. And with that, uh, for group policy, one folder is created with what name? Syswall. So in this location, one file will be created now once the DC is domain controller is created one file is created and that file name is what ntds.dit somebody asked what is the database for, for the domain you should say ntds.dit what is the full form of ntds.dit i'll write it later you just remember the name now ntds stands for new technology directory service ntds stands for new technology directory service dot dit dit means directory information tree so that will be created under the location called c drive windows ntds now everything is whatever we have selected it's showing you now go to the next it will be very now it is very fine if anything is wrong you will get a right mark now it is giving you that all prerequisite check pass successfully. Now you can begin on install. So now your machine, this machine will change from normal machine workgroup to what domain controller. So did you understood the concept? So don't close the session. Just give me a few minutes. Important thing. Show you verification. I know its time is over, but today's session was very important. But I went a little bit slowly. I'm not seeing the time. You also, if you have any important work, also just give me five minutes because verification is very important. Our complete course dependent on this topic. Just it will take one or two minutes. And the system will get automatically restarted. Now you see the color. The color of the flag again will become what? White. It means that thing has been successfully done. So automatically, my system will be restarted. Now take some more time for restarting because so many things will get installed along with the ADDS. Yes, but Oh, sorry, along with the ADDS, DNS service will get installed because the it is integrated with that. Uh, once I open the server manager console now, along with DNS, you will find DNS also. Yes, you can ask me. I should you know prefer DNS IP a box is there when you go to the IP properties after giving the IP address next column is what prefer DNS alternate DNS I'll show you once more just wait because the prefer DNS IP change once the DC call first time it will change it back to loopback IP address so we need to change it again to our machine IP address I told you, you no, know, it will take some little bit longer because so many services will get installed in the background. So it will consume now more resources once you install the ADDS. It is optional, but always prefer the least value for you forest and domain functional level. Forest functional level means what? Now this is your first forest. So the backup of the forest is what for DC is what ADC. So for that we have created what 2003 means the in the future I can make the backup of 
then domain means child domain i can create in the future child domain in the lowest os value so that we will be discussing in coming day sessions so i told you initially five classes are there all together of the ADDS. This is our first class of ADDS. Like this, four more class are there. Now you log in. Now you can find the verification. Now I'm logging with which user? Administrator. Now you find so many changes now. Now, first change you will find here is what? Once the server console get open, the flag color has become what? white again now in the left side you will find which service now is loading now you will find now here left side so did you find now adds got installed along with which one dns i did not install the dns but dns is integrated with what adds that's what i was telling you so this is the first page is clear now now you go to the tools now you will find so many uh, consoles of Active Directory, these are the six console created. The tools were starting from here, but now these are the six consoles or services you got created with the ADDS. And if you want to remove the ADDS, I given you the command, or graphically also you can remove from here. Manage. Now you check your system name now. You go to your computer, go to the properties. So initially it was work group. Now Somebody asked me why you did not change into the domain model here. They were asking this. Why don't you change here? So uh, here automatically it will change it. So did you understood now? I don't have to change. I need to install the domain service. Automatically it will change now. So now you see here your system name is same, but the full name of the system became what fully qualified domain name. So you got now this machine change into what domain. So what is your domain now? dot com this is your dns name understood now so this machine has become like a dc now one more thing you have to do here it has changed the loopback ip address so you go to the ip address network ip address go to the what change adapter setting select your LAN card properties then ip version 4 property here this is the ip i given but i given what ip prefer dns will be here so i given my preferred dns is what same same machine in which i have installed the adds in same machine dns also get installed so this machine ip address and preferred dns should be same so first time when you make your machine as a domain controller the ip will change from the machine ip to loopback so you need to change it to again machine ip address this is the drawback with the 2012 operating system but the first time only it will happen now you just enable disable and enable now you will find on the ethernet LAN card your domain name so it means now your domain is ready it's been created everything will become centralized now if you want you can check to the cmd what space account so previously my machine name was what server but now it will change to what primary so whenever you see in the net accounts the computer role name as primary it means what this is your dc machine so how do you identify your dc machine so you go to the command prompt type it net accounts in the computer role it will show what primary for the domain controller this is the identification another thing you go to the server manager console Go to the server manager console go to the tools you will find with that directly these six services another verification another verification now go to your computer go to the c drive windows then one folder will be created ntds dot so did you called ntds dot ntds dot folder in that one database file is created this is your database file ntds dot dit so the complete 
information of the domain controller will be stored in a centralized location. That centralized location is what? NTDS.DIT. This will be created only when you make your machine as a domain controller. Understood now? So this is a verification for domain. So this is what I was telling you. Now I'm not removing, I'm giving you the command how to remove the DC if required. So that's it for today. This is our today's session. So now, did you understood today's session, what we have discussed? Yes, everybody understood. So today's session was very, very important in that we discussed what is workgroup model? First, topology. How many types of topology? Physical, logical. What is the difference? Physical means which we can see through some structure like mesh, star, bus, ring. Which one is best? Star. Then I told you logical topology means how the data transmission takes place. That depends on the model. How many models are there in workgroup? Two, workgroup model and domain model. Which is best? Domain model. For domain model, we need to create domain so that everything will become centralized. How to make your domain? It will not become automatically. So we need to install one service. What is that service? ADDS. So a machine in which you install the ADDS service will not work, because, will not able to control entire network or entire domain. So for that, you need to make your machine as a domain controller. How to, how to make your machine as a domain controller? Just go to the flag, click on promote this to the domain controller. Then you take the third option. There are three options, first, second, third. Take the third option. Then you with the what? The domain administrator password, change the forest and domain level. Next, next will get installed. So now your machine became the domain controller. So now from this machine, you can control and manage your entire network because everything is get got centralized and authentication will be done with Kerberos protocol. Background one protocol will be created and one file is created, database file. So entire NTDS.DIT contain entire domain information. So this is about DC. How to check the DC means go to the net account simple. Type it, go to the command prompt, type it net accounts. You will find computer role name as what? Primary. So this is related with today's session. So those who are understood, you can leave the session. As for the uh, videos, there is some issue. We are trying to resolve it. You will be getting, don't worry about the videos, but give us some time. And today verification will be done. So who has made the full payment, I'll be getting the list. So to those people, I'll be sending the practical step file today or by tomorrow, either through the mail or through the WhatsApp. But just give a some time today, by today or tomorrow. And those people who are, what do you, uh, there is no need to give the alternate DNS means that will come into picture when you'll make the backup of DC. So just you have to remember. So uh, we'll get an official list tomorrow. Once I check it, whose names are not there, and who made the payment after that i can make a uh, those who users are people who are left out in the whatsapp group i'll add it but i also have some restriction i need to first check with my uh, finance department so i'll check then then i'll add it so don't feel anything please because this is a procedure we need to check first the list then i'll add it okay so, so any other doubts those people who are having, you can stay. The others who are understood, you can leave the session. So tomorrow we'll be discussing what client and member server concept. Okay. So those who are having doubts, you can ask me. Others, you can leave for that today's session. Hello. Hello. Sir, myself, Dipchan. Ah, actually, I installed this installed it. तो उसमें क्या वो आ, ये मांग रहा है उसमें आ, क्या बोलते हैं उसको अच्छा एक्सपायर्ड कुछ बता रहा है क्या एक्सपायर्ड नहीं सर है हाँ जी मैंने आ, क्या बोलते हैं उसको अभी जो है ना सिक्स ओ क्लॉक आए थे सॉरी सॉरी सर वीएम वीएम है मैंने डाउनलोड किया ओके तो वीएम वाले पे जब मैंने विंडो सर्वर उसमें इंस्टॉल कर � ऐसा जरूर करना जरूरी है क्या वो एक्टिवेशन नहीं उसके बिना भी कर सकते आप जेन्युइनली यूज कर रहे हैं क्या ओएस 
हाँ मैं जेन्य, जेन्युन नहीं है वो नॉर्मल लेकिन वी एम बेटर जब उसको इंस्टॉल कर रहा हूँ तो उसमें वो मांग रहा है कि कंपलसरी मतलब वो करना पड़ेगा एक्टिवेशन वी एम बेर क्या करो फ्री या ट्रायल वर्जन डाउनलोड कर लो थर्टी डेज का वो मैंने क्या वी एम बेर नाइन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो किया है मैंने नाइन पॉइंट जीरो जोट जीरो सपोर्ट नहीं करेगा फिफ्टीन कर लो फोर्टीन या फिफ्टीन अच्छा फोर्टीन या फिफ्टीन करना है आप रहते कहाँ हो अभी प्रेजेंटली तो सर मैं इधर है इधर घर आया हूँ अगर आप पास में हैदराबाद में रहते तो हमारे पास से ले ले सकते हैं तो आप okay, okay. कर लीजिए उसमें कोई दिक्कत नहीं होगा ट्रायल या फ्री वर्जन का हाँ ये कौन सा भी 15.00 डाउनलोड कर लेना कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगा से नहीं आपको बिना की के मिल जाएगा 30 डेज नहीं ये मतलब वर्जन कौन सा रहेगा उसका 15 और दूसरा हेलो ये वर्जन कौन सा रहेगा उसका सर डाउनलोड कर लिया सो ओके सर ओके ओके थैंक यू एनी अदर डाउट रिगार्डिंग टुडे सेशन सर हां ये सर संजय कुमार और सर मेरे को मेरे लैपटॉप पे इंस्टॉल करना है जस्ट अ सेकंड एनटीटीएस मींस न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी डायरेक्टरी सर्विस Yes, uh, sir, laptop uh, so, uh, in the chat or you want to to speak? Uh, sir, 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 DIT stands for what? Directory Information Tree. If as for uh, installing your server OS on 2000, first you Directory Information Tree (DIT) Directory Information Tree. I'll write it. Yes. To install the server OS, first what you need to do? Uh, first, you need to install VMware. On VMware, you install the server OS. First, download the server OS ISO image. Then install it as I shown you. Just it is as simple as client OS also same. Just read the option and proceed. Okay. Okay. Uh, any other doubts anybody if there is no doubt can i close this session ah you have you have the whatsapp number no in that you can write NTDS.DIT stores the ADDS complete data. Active Directory data will be stored in NTDS.DIT. So, so shall I wind up the session? So I'll add it. Whoever is missing, but I need to check first with the element issue. I'll check it, then I'll add it. I'm closing the session now. Thank you, everybody. See you tomorrow. We'll discuss what client and server model.